Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here. I've seen a few people do this on Instagram where they give their top five purchases of the year. And I thought, you know what, let's do this too. I'm gonna go ahead and give my top 10 model horse purchases of 2019. This list is going to be based roughly in order of my least to my most favorite purchases from last year. I feel extremely fortunate to have gotten so many great models in 2019 which makes narrowing down which models to put in this list and ranking them from least to most favorite very difficult. Let's get right into it, starting off with number 10, Briar 50th Anniversary Mantle Clock American Saddlebred, without the clock. This number 10 spot on the list was the most difficult to choose because there are several models I could have put in this number 10 spot, but I'm going to go ahead with this Palomino Saddlebred because he was such an unexpected find at Briarfest in that he wasn't on my wish list, but when I saw him, I had to have him. I also thought it was fitting to include him since he was a 50th anniversary model, and this year, 2020, is Briar's 70th anniversary. I showed this model in my Briarfest haul video, which you're going to hear me reference a lot in this video, because over half my favorite model purchases this year came from Briarfest 2019. Number 9, Christmas Candy. Even though I just opened this model in the year 2020, I technically ordered it on Christmas Day in 2019, so I'm going to count it towards this list. The Christmas candy I received ended up being one of the colors I was really hoping to get, and while I normally don't like gold decorators, I think this color works really well with this model's design. She gives me a Christmas vibe but also has an ancient, primitive zebra feel, like a quagga. Number 8. Like Thunder This is a Passage to the Pacific model from 2012. There's a bit of a story behind this one, which I already talked about in my Briarfest haul video, so I won't go into detail on it again here. But this model felt like it oddly was meant to be to be in my collection, and I am very happy to have her. Number 7, Dino. This is a Peter Stone Pinto Foundation Quarter Horse that was produced in 2010. And I actually just discovered that his original name is Dino from doing this video. I bought this model at Briarfest 2019 and I almost, almost didn't purchase him, but was glad I did because I would have really regretted not buying him if I hadn't. I really love the mapping on this model. This guy was actually in two of my Briarfest 2019 videos. He made a quick appearance in one of my experience videos, and he was of course in my haul video. Number 6, Nadifa. This model is the most I've ever spent on a single model horse. She is the second release in the Briar Wild Animal Web Special series. I just really love these horses painted to look like other animals. And I do have an entire video about unboxing her if you want to see her in more detail. Number 5, Custom Arabian Mare. Another Briarfest 2019 purchase, surprise surprise. This mare was such a great bargain and I love her resculpt and coloring. While I mainly collect original finish models, she's definitely a custom I'm glad to have in my collection. She has a really pretty face, some really interesting coloring, and she has a re-sculpt of the Pam mold, which is a mold that I really like. Number 4, Zombie Custom Foundation Stallion. Elizabeth Rose 14 from Instagram contacted me if I wanted to buy this guy because of my love for the Foundation Stallion mold. At the time, I was a little unsure because I was trying to save for Briarfest, but I am very happy that I went ahead and bought him. He is such an interesting custom with so much detail and creepiness. I did do a full video unboxing him if you would like to see him in all his creepy glory. Number 3, a horse of a different color. Now this is the only model I have not shown in any of my other videos. So this is the first time you guys are actually seeing him. I believe in late springtime of 2019. I didn't exactly purchase this guy. I won him in a raffle at a model horse show, but since I did purchase the raffle tickets, I suppose he kinda counts. 
I am absolutely in love with this model. He is a Peter Stone Drafter, one of a kind from 2017. He has a semi-glossy finish. He has really interesting bloody shoulder markings. I actually think his color borderlines on unrealistic because his coloring is so very pink. Kind of pink and peachy. Not really a typical bay, flea-bitten gray, bloody shoulder horse. I guess he's like a very rose gray horse with bloody shoulder markings. I'm not really sure, but regardless, I think this model is just stunning. He is absolutely one of my favorite Peter Stones that I own. Number two, Emerson. Emerson, along with the Briarfest special run Rocket, have made me fall in love with this mold. It was difficult to pick between Emerson or my Chalky Rocket as one of my favorite purchases, but I went ahead with Emerson because his coloring and markings are just so striking. I really did not expect to fall head over heels in love with this mold, but I just absolutely love it and look forward to getting more models on it. I'm actually really excited because Briar is coming out with a portrait model on this mold of an Australian racehorse. There's not a huge amount of information quite yet of making this video anyway of the details of this model, but it is believed that this will possibly first be released to the UK and then it will also be available later on to the USA. I really look forward to getting this model. I'm just loving this mold so much and I want a bazillion models on it. You can of course see Emerson and the two rockets I bought in my Briarfest haul video. Lastly, number one, Diana. I of course had to include the Pinto variation of Diana on this list from Briarfest. I still can't believe that I have this super duper rare model. It was a huge surprise to buy this special run and then find out she was the one of 30 variations. I do actually have video of me opening her at Briarfest in one of my Briarfest experience videos. And yes, once again, you of course can see her in my Briarfest haul video. There's my top 10 model horse purchases of 2019. Who knows what models I'll end up with this year in 2020. But this year I'm also going to try and drastically downsize my collection. Unfortunately, that's very hard to do because I love all of my models, but I just, I have too many. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite model horse purchase of 2019 was. If you didn't buy any models last year, then let me know what other object or experience you got in 2019 that was your favorite. Thank you for watching, I hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!